Hi there, I'm Ray Krug from NetScout. I'm a solutions architect, and today I'm going to focus in fabulous Las Vegas, of course, in uh, assuring secure and successful deployments in uh, NSX environments with NetScout visibility. So I'm going to focus on a number of things throughout uh, the presentation, just uh, split it into a number of areas. I'm going to introduce you to NetScout if you've never heard of NetScout before, so I think a few little facts and figures. Um, then I'm going to talk about challenges, okay, um, um, about deploying into NSX because it's a change. So any change provide, pr pr provides challenges uh, of deployment. So talk a few things about that. But then I'm going to move it on in terms of how NetScout technology can be deployed into the NSX environment. Uh, and also show you NetScout in action, so you actually get to see it uh, effectively. I'll do it in slides because I wasn't sure whether I could do a, a demo live and all that sort of thing, so that gives you a sense for what we can do. And finally, change it up a little bit and move away from just NSX because there's this thing called the hybrid cloud where you've got different infrastructures. So how is NetScout relevant in multi-cloud and also on-prem uh, technologies and how we can bring that all together. So that's what we're going to come to cover in the next sort of uh, 59 minutes. I uh, hope you enjoy it. So let's start. NetScout introduction at a glance. Only a few facts and figures because I could go on forever. But one of the big, big headlines I have is uh, $1 billion revenue company uh, every year. So that's a significant chunk when you consider we're uh, specializing in the net mo network monitoring arena uh, for service assurance and security. And that's kind of important. So we've got 3,000 employees, over a third of them in an R&D. We're highly innovative in terms of what we do, makes us agile and allows us to create new products for our customers and move as uh, we need to move as the infrastructure changes, especially in the virtualization world. So that's important. Three areas of focus. Uh, I'll start with security, both enterprise and service provider. Um, market leader in DDoS, I don't know whether you know, but uh, we're uh, Arbor Technologies or Arbor Networks. Uh, is a subsidiary of NetScout. So all that DDoS stuff uh, is NetScout. So I uh, just wanted to mention that. So that's important. But of course, traditionally, NetScout is both in the enterprise and the service provider. What that means is that we scale to the largest of carriers and mobile. And you can imagine how big those are with millions and millions of subscribers. That's important. But we also therefore use that same technology to be able to scale in the enterprise. And that's significant. So uh, it's an important uh, uh, um, diversification that we have those key areas that we uh, uh, maintain. So what do we do? Well, basically, it's about service assurance or business assurance. So the concept being is that, OK, it's here, uh, ensuring successful application rollouts and also ongoing proactive monitoring no matter where those applications are being deployed. So whether it's on-prem, public, private, cloud, et cetera. So we, we provide that visibility to ensure the success of those migrations and stuff like that. Now, traditionally, we've been a network assurance player. But obviously, there's a lot of valuable information in network. Uh, so we can actually use that same technology to actually look at applications and how they're performing as well. And then, of course, we go through that life cycle deployment readiness, see whether the network's ready, deploying things, proactive monitoring that's constantly monitoring things, and of course service triage. So as you um, deploy stuff, you want to quickly check that it's working to spec so you can fix it before the users start to complain. So that's what we're all about. And then the service triage allows us to quickly get to the root cause of problems. Because those problems could be network oriented or application oriented or infrastructure oriented. So we have that visibility across those domains. And again, I'll explain a little bit more of how we do that. The final slide on this section is the ingenious service assurance um, solution. So this is where I talk a little bit about product just a bit generally, but also about history. Um, we've been in the business, or NetScout have been around since 1984, uh, 34 years. So we've seen a lot of change. And I've talked about innovation and all that sort of thing. So our original products were all focused at network uh, let's say wide area network and uh, sitting at the edge of the network and taking a look at how that um, sort of capacity planning and traffic engineering was going on. So we had appliances, physical appliances, probe technology, hard disk, memory, CPU, Ethernet cards or whatever it was in those days. <laughs> and then they would 
collect the packets, store the packets, in, 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 and also analyze those. And then we'd have an uh, application. In those days, it was called Performance Manager. If any, any old hard stick NetScout people, we had Performance Manager in those days, and it's now changed to Ingenious One. Also appliance-based as well. So that was doing primarily the network assurance side of things. Um, things don't change. We decided to uncover that we could get a lot more meaningful information out of that network traffic, provide application assurance, and I'll describe a little bit more about that later. So we're migrating across from network assurance, including application assurance, and then, of course, comes this thing called virtualization. So having appliances is no longer necessarily the right solution when you're in a virtual world. Still, we have lots and lots and lots of customers using the hardware appliances because they're tuned for high capacity. But also, we want to get visibility in the cloud or in virtualized platform, in which case it's not a bad idea to have virtualization going on there. So we kind of took, we kind of became a software company, uh, essentially, virtualizing everything that we did in hardware appliances so that you could deploy it anywhere. So that's where we get, oh, I mean, we, we're very clever with our naming convention, VNG1 for Virtual Ingenious One. vScout and vStream is some of the technologies I'll talk about uh, throughout the presentation. One of the things that's uh, really interesting is this ASI thing that's on there, Adaptive Service Intelligence. And that's where we uh, translate or transform this packet data into what we call smart data. I'm going to leave it at that for the time being, because I'm going to talk a little bit more about what that means in terms of the platform as we go on through the presentation. So I'm going to concentrate on those two things, network assurance and application assurance, most of the time. But I did want to introduce some infrastructure performance products that we have in the enterprise world. So um, I wanted to make sure that was clear here. Uh, Ingenious Pulse. And what I tend to talk about with Ingenious Pulse, it's an active test tool. Synthetic testing, so allows us to um, make tests into the private cloud, into the public cloud, into software as a service, into voice, UCAS, those sort of aspects, and allows us to test uh, um, uh, services and applications that are in the cloud or in your on premises data center. Now, so that's what I had for you on this session. I'm Open to questions. In the Ingenious Pulse, uh, you're doing synthetic modeling, basically, in order to do some transactional testing and stuff along those lines. That's exactly can right. You, can you do an approach where you actually model, you, you analyze an existing model, and, and then you're able to reproduce that from a synthetic standpoint? Or do you have to create it from scratch? You know, uh, today, today, you create it from scratch. Mm -hmm. uh, what we do in the future, we're going to do some more sophisticated um, uh, analysis to be able to do multi-transactional uh, synthetic testing. ASI, what, what was that? Adaptive Service Intelligence. I'm going to explain all about that in a few minutes' time. All right, just adding it to my acronym soup. I know, <laughs> I know. Are certain parts of these uh, an underpinning of leveraging the, you know, some of the like, old Atlas platform within the Arbor stack and such? So um, today, no. Today, uh, they're independent. Mm -hmm. The one thing that is very much in common with all of that is the fact that we acquire packets from the network mm -hmm. and that we can leverage those for security reasons as well. I've got deeper questions when you come to that part around taps, VTAPs, and spans, and how you actually do yeah. that, you know, on-premises, cloud, et cetera. But I'll see if you actually cover it. Yeah. And, and I'm tending to stick on the service assurance rather than the security on sure. today's presentation. But that's cool. Excellent. Thank you.